Yes, sir. I was not lying. I wasn't pulling a prank on you guys. I was telling the truth, man. I am really on the Oklahoma City Thunder. I had to team up with my brother Kevin Durant and Rusty Russ, Russell Westbrook and Sergi Baca, and also Bobby Smurda, Bobby Smurda, Smurda boy. Reggie Jackson, he looked just like that dude, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, though. But anyway, I will tell y'all why I joined the Thunder in a couple of seconds. But as you see, Serge Ibaka setting his screen. I'm going to make a risky pass over to that man, Russell Westbrook, as he throws it down for two points right there. Four to four, everything tied up at four apiece. Durant going to kick it off to your boy. I'm going to call for a screen like I usually do since I can't call for plays. Driving it into the paint. Throwing it down, my first two points as a Thunder is a slam to the dunk. This is history, folks. Once again, once again, I am not leaving this team, no matter what. No matter what. I will stay on the Thunder until 2K15 is over with and 2K16 is out. So, I'm going to just let y'all know that once again, I'm not leaving this team. This is the last team I'm going to join just to make sure that's clear. But anyway, look at my brother Kevin Durant drawing the foul, getting the and one. Taking another look at that and one right here on this replay. Got the contact, threw it off the backboard, and he got the and one. And of course, with no question in mind, of course, Kevin Durant converted the three point play. Come on, it's KD, but look at your boy shaking up DeMar DeRozan in the paint. Could have been an and one, but you know, no foul was called. So I'm going to keep it moving. But into the main topic of this commentary, why did I join the Oklahoma City Thunder? Now, if you know me, you know that Kevin Durant is my second favorite player of all time, coming right behind Allen Iverson. Number one is AI, number two is KD, and number three is LBJ. And after number three is just a bunch of players that I really like. I wouldn't really call them my favorite player. But anyway, moving on. So that right there alone wanted you know i wanted to join kevin durant i wanted to play with kevin durant i always wanted to play with kevin durant on 2k since 2k 13 so i finally got the chance to team up with my bro kevin durant kd and i took the chance when i had the opportunity whenever i had the chance to i was gonna take it and i finally got the chance to team up with kd so i took it that's one reason now the second reason is because i want a tough once again, a tough challenge in the playoffs. On the East, it's too damn easy. I don't like being on the East in the playoffs because I know for a fact, a 100% fact, I'm going to make the Eastern Conference Finals every single year. On the East, it's only one, maybe two teams that I'm like, oh, snap, I got to go ham against them if I want to beat them. And right now, that is the Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls, if I would have stayed with the Detroit Pistons. Now that I'm on the West, I got to deal with the championship defenders, the San Antonio Spurs, the Golden State Warriors, the LA Clippers, the Houston Rockets, the Portland Trailblazers, the Dallas Mavericks, and maybe one other team that's on the West. The Grizzlies, I think I can get by them, but even maybe the Grizzlies. But the point I'm trying to make is that I want a tough challenge in the playoffs. I want to grind to get my championship. I don't want to just sweep everybody and easily win my championship like I did last year with the Chicago Bulls. If you watched my last year's series with Adrian Hall with the Chicago Bulls, we only lost, I think, two games throughout the entire playoffs, including the finals. We swept the Wizards, we lost one game to the Pacers, we swept the Heat, and then we lost one game in the finals to the Thunder. That is too damn easy to be in the East in the playoffs. I want to grind for my championship. But anyway, one last thing I want to touch on just real quick. I seen two to three comments in my last My Career video saying that I joined a overpowered team, a OP team. The only thing that's overpowered about the Thunder right now while I'm on the team is our record. Our record is phenomenal. We have the best record in the NBA right now with a 35 and 5 record, I believe. Somewhere around 35 and 5, but that's not really my fault anyway. The the Thunder started off 15 and 0. They had a 15 game winning streak to start off the season. Now, when I joined OKC, we had a 25 and 4 record. Our record right now is 35 and 5. 
We lost to the Celtics, people. Yeah, we lost to the Celtics by over five points. That shows right there that we're not an overpowered team. We lost to the Celtics by over five points, people. And for y'all people that think, oh, just because I joined the Thunder that, you know, Kevin Durant going to be scoring 30 points per game, it is nowhere near like that. Kevin Durant is scoring like 16 to 18 points per game. Now, I'm not saying that he scores exactly 18 or 16 points every single game. He will have, you know, his moments where he dropped 20 or more points in a game, but it's not every single game. Now, my fault, once again, that this is one of those videos where I'm talking about topics for damn near the entire video. Instead of the play-by-play -play commentary, I will make up for that in my next My Career video. I just had to get some things off my chest and explain some things to y'all out there that was confused on why I joined the Thunder and stuff like that. But look at my man Perkins taking the lead for us. And once we got the lead, man, we held on to it. We did our damn thing. And one thing about this team, man, is we we got some good defense. That's one thing I will say about the Thunder. We got some good defense as I'm rejecting DeMar DeRozan at the basket. Russell was going to find KD at the left wing, but he misses the three-point shot. That's what I was trying to tell y'all, man. He does not make every single thing he throws up. He misses a lot of jump shots, but our defense makes up for those misses as I'm making my way to the basket. Rising up, throwing it down, putting the nails in the coffin. This game is over. We got the victory. We got the win in my debut game with OKC. This was not an easy battle at all. It was a tough game all the way through. But for you people that just don't want to believe me, here you go. Here's the facts right here. Kevin Durant shot 6 for 17 and Russell Westbrook shot 6 for 16. The facts is right here, people. You can see it. I'm not lying at all. Like I said, KD scores around 16 to 18 points per game. He might go off for 20 here and there, but this is what you're going to get. This is what I'm going to get. I got to do most of the scoring like i always been. That's just how 2K is set up. They dumb down your teammates, and they make them miss more shots than they usually do when you go up against them. Because when you go up against them, oh, they are killing you. But when you join a team, the you know, 2K dumbed them down a little bit. But I will not get back up the Hall of Fame since I am on the OKC Thunder. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying the next good decision he makes for the team will be the first. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Talk to you soon. Sorry about that. Talking to uh, another one of my clients. So I needed to see you because um, we have a problem. Yeah, what's that? Tell me. Man, what is it? Both Gatorade and Sprite want you as their next featured athlete. <laughs> what? That's awesome, right? Well, yes and no. They're both offering good money and perks, but you gotta pick one or the other. I mean, they both want an exclusive. You know, public appearances, out wearing the gear in public, selling the brand. So it's one or the other, huh? There may be smaller opportunities down the road with whoever you don't pick, but the big decision comes right now. So what do you think? Gatorade or Sprite? I think I'm going with Gatorade, man. Legendary brand with legendary athletes associated with it. Not to mention legendary agents making all those dreams come true. What, no love for your 10 percenter? Fine, fine. Oh, and um, before I forget, there's just one small contingency. How do I figure this is going to be anything but small? But don't worry, this is going to be easy. They just want to make sure that if your star is truly rising, that you have as big an audience as possible. So all you have to do is pick up one million new fans on social media in the next 10 days, to, you know, to show them you mean business, and uh, that's it. Then the deal's locked in. Piece of cake. Hold on, wait. A million? That's exactly what I'm saying. The food is terrible and the atmosphere is even worse. I'm never coming back. <sighs> Moms. You talk to your mom like that? Ah, she's a tough old broad. She'll get over it. So we did it. One million new fans. See, I told you, piece of cake. No, we didn't do anything. Luckily, I got my man, Pharrell, to come and help out. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. All that matters is the deal is done. I knew he'd figure something out. Man, whatever, yo. I'm about to get back to this game. I'll holler at you later. No gratitude for the man who orchestrated the whole thing, huh? Tell you like this. 
Next time, don't pull no surprises like that. And you promised me a shark tank. I don't see no sharks up in here. Yeah, sharks. Fine. At least we're getting deals done. More than most players can say.